So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get a seamless repeating texture, just like this one. So we're going to start out with a new artboard and I'm going to set this to inches and I want to have 12 inches by 12 inches at 300 DPI. And I want to make sure my color is set to RGB. I'm going to click create, go to file, place embedded, and I'm going to find my watercolor scan that I just scanned in on my scanner and it's coming in sideways. So I'm just going to hold down shift and hover around the corner and holding down shift just means it'll rotate at a perfect angle. Then I'm just going to click command dash, which just zooms out my canvas and I'm going to stretch this watercolor texture all the way to the edge of my artboard. We just want to make sure we're getting rid of any of these kind of white edges. And there we go. I'm just going to click enter. And from there, we want to kind of get rid of all this extra stuff that is just hiding on, you know, outside of the artboard. So I'm going to click command A to select all, command C to copy, and shift command V to paste in place. And that just gives us an extra layer, which means I can go ahead and delete the layer underneath. Make sure you're clicked on your layer, go to filter, other, offset, and 1800 by 1800 is good, and click OK. If you wanna to check to make sure that these lines are centered, you can come up to your ruler and drag this all the way down to the six, which we're not seeing now. The six is here. And then we can drag from this side all the way to the six in the middle here. So you can see that this is lining up pretty good. And I can just click on command colon to toggle these off and on. I don't think I need them anymore, so I'm just gonna toggle them off. And I wanna make sure my layer is clicked and I'm going to give a pretty generous selection around these lines. We wanna get rid of these lines in the middle. And so I'm just gonna select all of that and come over to edit, content aware fill. Now we can kind of play around with some of these options. We can go to auto or rectangular and see which one you're liking better. I think I'm liking the rectangular one better. And you can either choose new layer or duplicate layer. And I have my opacity set to 100. So I'm just gonna click OK. I think this is looking pretty good for our first draft. And I'm going to deselect. So let's try the content aware tool one more time. I think I need to kind of correct this area and maybe this area here. So I'm just gonna come down to, I'm gonna click my lasso tool and I'm just gonna circle around this area. Content aware fill. And we can see that that's helping. Okay, I think I just need to grab a little bit of a bigger area. Okay, and that's looking a lot better. Let's click okay. And then we're gonna combine these layers and see if there's any areas we need to fix with the rubber stamp tool. Okay, so I think that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and offset again and see if there's any other areas we need to fix. Yeah, so we're having um, more crosshairs coming right here. So let's do content aware fill again. And I'm seeing some areas right here. Honestly, the bigger you make these areas, um, your selection areas, the more information Photoshop has to pull from. Okay, so that's looking a lot better. Let's click okay. And that is looking pretty good. Okay, so from there, we're gonna come down to edit, define pattern. And I'm gonna call this watercolor texture, watercolor texture five. And from there, I'm going to open a brand new file that's a different shape. This is just a longer canvas and we're gonna double click on background so that it's not locked. We can click on FX and pattern overlay. From there, we can choose our newest watercolor pattern. And as you can see, it is really seamless and beautiful. We can use this 
on any kind of patterned background, any kind of repeating surface. So that is absolutely gorgeous. I'm really happy with it. If we double click on pattern, you can move it around and just see how it's repeating. You can also scale up and down. Of course, as you scale down, you can start to see the box, this shape repeating quite a bit. So if you wanted to get rid of that, you could. Um, but if you're playing with a larger scale, that's not going to matter. So that is just absolutely beautiful. So I have this watercolor texture that we just made as a freebie on my website. So if you would like to just go ahead and download it as a freebie, you're welcome to. You will be asked to join my email list to be able to download it. But other than that, yeah, enjoy guys. Thanks so much for watching.